Track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Thanks for sticking with us here on this Veterans Day at 10 o'clock. KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith joins us once again. Travis, do you have any ideas for the names for the turkeys? I liked Ludafisk and Lefsa. Um, I, I liked Ollie. That was, oh, that yeah, was a yeah, pretty yeah. good one. That's yeah, good one. But, but Evan had a good one with Fla Brandon, Brandon Lockstaller. Lock That's creative. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Um, but, uh, you know, it's definitely cold. Definitely getting ready for Thanksgiving weather. These temperatures won't be sticking around for too long. We'll be warming up once again later on this week, but we can get more used to this November weather. Right now, it's 33 degrees in Rochester, 30 in Austin and Mason City, 34 degrees in Albert Lee, with calm winds up to 10 miles per hour coming out of the east and northeast when all is said and done. Now, earlier today, it was quite windy, and some of us did see some pretty gusty winds. Rochester actually clocked a 38 mile per hour gust. Mason City was at 33 miles per hour. Most everywhere around the area was around 25 to 30 miles per hour with those wind gusts. And we're going to be taking a little break from it overnight, but as we get up tomorrow morning into the afternoon, we're going to be seeing some more of those winds. Taking a look at satellite and radar, we did have a few clouds in the area, but those quickly passed through. And now we are seeing more of those clear skies. And that's part of what is allowing these temperatures to drop because we don't have that blanket of clouds that we kind of got used to over the end of last week into the weekend. So we do have a little bit of a light breeze and that will lead to a little bit of a wind chill. So overnight tonight we will see temperatures right around 30 degrees. 29 is our forecast low, but those wind chills will be down into the mid 20s. So if you're going to be out and about tonight or it, as we're getting ready for school in the morning, you're definitely going to want to bundle up because it will be a little bit chillier than what we have been used to over the last several days. As we time things out overnight tonight, Things are looking pretty good. Winds are shifting around to the southeast as we start our day on a Tuesday. Won't be seeing too much in terms of clouds through the day, but those winds will definitely pick up. And then our next chance of rain will be arriving on Wednesday afternoon. Those wind gusts, as I said, as we're waking up tomorrow morning around 30 miles per hour, we could be up to 35, 40 miles per hour by this time tomorrow night. And then we'll be sticking around with those gusty winds through Wednesday. For tonight, 29 degrees with those clear skies, winds out of the southeast around 5 miles per hour. For tomorrow, 47, mostly sunny, winds continuing out of the southeast and taking a look at the seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view. That shot of rain on Wednesday and then we'll kind of get steady into the upper 40s, lower 50s through the rest of the week. This weekend looking pretty dry.